ancient Roman necropolis holding more than 60 skeletons and luxury goods discovered in central Italy. A Roman-era necropolis that likely holds the remains of the upper crust has been discovered in central Italy, and it contains nearly 60 graves replete with gold jewelry and the remains of leather footwear, pottery, and other precious goods. The cemetery, found ahead of construction work for a solar energy project in the town of Tuscania, may have been associated with a hotel-like villa that served as a way station for important travelers, such as provincial officials. The jewels, but also the glass, pottery, the footwear, the numerous coins, give us an image of people who enjoyed a certain well-being and could afford some small luxuries, Emanuele Giannini of the archaeology firm Eos Arc and the lead archaeologist at the site, told Live Science in an email. Most of the tombs were in the so-called cappuccino style, a common burial type in which the deceased was covered with stone or ceramic tiles arranged in an A-frame shape. However, the archaeologists also found simple graves with no such covering, as well as skeletons contained in large ceramic vessels and evidence of some cremations. Dated to the height of the Roman Empire, to between the 2nd and 4th centuries AD, the necropolis was likely associated with a way station called a mansion. There, dignitaries and other officials could stop for rest and refreshments while on government business. Giannini said that historical sources mention a mansion called Tabularia along the Via Aurelia, an ancient road that ran roughly from Pisa to Rome. The location of this mansion is just 1,640 feet 500 meters, from the cemetery, suggesting a connection. So far, Archaeologists have made only basic assessments of the newfound skeletons in terms of sex and age at death, and they suggest that the people lived in an urban context. Discovering who they were is part of my research, Giannini said. He and his team plan to undertake genetic studies to learn more about the 67 people who were buried in the necropolis, including trying to figure out whether the tombs that contained more than one person held the remains of family members. In addition, the artifacts found in the excavation are being studied and restored, Giannini said, and when that is complete, they will be exhibited in a local museum. We have already done a lot, but much remains to be done, he said. Using the latest technology, Giannini and his team hope to extend their research by reconstructing the lives of the ancient population of the area in as detailed a manner as possible. The project is ambitious but realistic, according to Giannini, but key to better understanding how people lived during the time of the Roman Empire. I sincerely appreciate your patronage and support. We kindly request that you take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Doing so enables us to continue creating high-quality content for you. Thank you for your continued patronage and support.